Good morning, Hollywood. My name is Matt Fritch, and I'm the chairman of the board of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. It is my pleasure to welcome you all here today for the Hollywood Chamber's Walk of Fame Star Ceremony in honor of Gwen Stefani. The Hollywood Chamber has proudly administered the Hollywood Walk of Fame on behalf of the city of Los Angeles to the delight of millions of fans from around the world for more than 60 years. It's my pleasure to welcome to the stage iHeartRadio personality Ellen Kay, who will be our MC for today. This is bananas! <laughs> Let me put on my GX by Gwen Stefani glasses. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Ellen Kay. I'm so excited to host today as the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce welcomes Gwen Stefani to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> Before we start, let's give a shout out to our fans watching all around the world right now on our live stream presented by our media partner, Variety. And a big thank you to our sponsor, Niagara, providing healthy and high quality hydration. All right, the Hollywood Walk of Fame recognizes achievement in the categories of motion pictures, radio, live TV, theater, live performance, sports entertainment, recording, and television. And today in the category of recording, we honor Gwen Stefani, star number 2,764 on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> Now, before we bring Gwen to the stage, let me tell you a little about our honoree. Global icon, California girl, Gwen Stefani has achieved international success. Singer, songwriter, performer, charismatic front woman of no doubt, and as a multi-platinum solo artist. To date, she sold more than 60 million units worldwide, over 10 billion streams, including her debut solo album, Love Angel Music Baby. And we love Gwen's music, like Rich Girl. And what are you waiting for? Wind it up. The Sweet Escape. Used to love you. And of course, the number one hit, Hollaback Girl. Now in 2020, Gwen had two number one hits on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart with her gorgeous husband, Blake Shelton. <laughs> Nobody But You and Happy Anywhere. And Gwen just released the new song, It's Amazing True Babe, last June. And we love watching Gwen on the NBC and Warner Brothers Emmy Award winning series, The Voice. <laughs> Gwen continues to be a trend setting music and fashion icon with an impressive array of honors, including three Grammys, four MTV Video Music Awards, two Billboard Awards and a Brit Award, American Music Award, also known for entrepreneurial skills with multiple brands to her name, including clean beauty brand Give, which, yeah. I love your face oil so much, Glenn, I'm so addicted. And everything that you make, clothing lines, Lamb, Sister Label, Harajuku Lovers, and her eyewear line, GX by Gwen Stefani. Um, Gwen continues to make giving back a focus in her life, supporting several charities and foundations. Walk of Famer, Gwen Stefani, please welcome me you to the stage, our newest Walk of Famer.
All right, before we hear from you, Gwen, we have three friends of yours who would like to say a few words. Our first is speaker is record label founder and entrepreneur. Please help me welcome to the stage legendary music executive, Jimmy Iovine. No, I get to stand next to Gwen. So anyway, in 1991, a fellow named Tony Ferguson came to my office and he said, there's this incredible ska band that I want you to see. I said, oh, from Jamaica? <laughs> said, no. I said, oh, they must be from England. No, they're from Orange County. I said, Orange County? <laughs> okay, well, that, there you go. So anyway. <laughs> I go and see this band. I go see these four people playing literally like a hurricane. I couldn't hear the songs. I couldn't hear the singer. I didn't quite know if they were good or not, but they had a phenomenal energy. And those were the days when you would sign a band from a record company based on energy, heart, feel, and potential. It wasn't like today where they have three million people watching their TikTok song or something like that. It was the old days. So, but there was something unique. The singer was performing with reckless abandon, like there was no one within 10,000 yards of her. And she was a blonde young girl, and she didn't care if we were there, who we were, what it was. She just was fearless. And I said, you know, this is something that if we water it, over the years, it could be really, could be a redwood, could be incredible. So we signed them, and you know, about three or four, remember this is a time, 1991, this was on the label like her and Tupac, and, and we just, you know, this was a year before the big bang of the chronic with Dr. Dre at Interscope. So these were early, early days. We were feeling our way around. And somehow or another, with all the groups and everything, no doubt, and Gwen became my job. And lucky me. So I've had, I've had floor seats for Gwen Stefani for 33 years. And it's been an incredible show to watch, to watch her grow and move, but yet stay the same, heart, soul, caring, talented is all hell, getting more talented every day. Watching that was incredible. We went to do her solo records. I mean, we had everything, excitement, uh, ups and downs, even a few tears when she went into the studio with Dr. Dre to cut uh, Blow Your Mind. When, when she had to do the vocal, Dre's a perfectionist, so we had a tough day that day, but, but, but she did an incredible job, and um, the solo career was just extraordinary, and it's been an incredible, incredible show, and uh, Gwen, I love you. You didn't disappoint. You overachieved as usual. Heck, the whole world loves you. God bless you, baby. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, our next speaker is CEO of the Aesop Company and a producer and manager of some of the biggest artists we all know and love, and who was recently selected for his own Walk of Fame star. He's going to get it next year in 2024. Welcome, Irving Aesop. When Gwen Stefani walks in a room, you know you're in the presence of greatness. Aww. No one works harder or deserves more to be the worldwide icon and role model she has become than Gwen. She burst onto the music scene as the lead singer of the Orange County ska band, no doubt, and took them to the top of the charts and worldwide fame with her singing and writing talent, her incredible stage presence, and that it factor that defines taste and trend setting, and that was just the beginning. Gwen has more than earned her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for the indelible mark she's left on the world as a pop diva, a fashion icon, a musical mentor through her great work at The Voice, 
a successful entrepreneur and a role model for women worldwide. For all of these reasons, I've always been proud to call Gwen a client, but my happiness today is far more personal because Gwen has never been just a girl and she's never been just a client either. For years, even before she was a client, she's been a trusted member of the Azov family and the nicest one of us by a, by a healthy margin. <laughs> I knew that The Voice was going to be a great move for Gwen, but even I am not far-sighted enough to have known how much it was going to ultimately change her life. Gwen once wrote, I'm just an Orange County girl living in an extraordinary world, but even then I bet she couldn't have imagined that extraordinary world would eventually include a cowboy husband and life on a ranch and of all places, Tishomingo, Oklahoma. Who knew that flannel and camo could be so fashionable and compatible? As unlikely as their pairing may have seemed at one point, it's clear that Gwen is never happier when she's on the ranch with her boys, husband Blake Shelton, and what Gwen would say is her greatest accomplishment, her three sons, Kingston, a budding musician on his own right, Zuma, and Apollo. But today we are a long way from Tishomingo, so that Gwen can join Blake on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Amazing they put him up here. But anyway, there are a number of famous couples here. Bogey and Bacall, Lucy and Desi, Liz and Richard, and now we have Gwen and Blake. It's my extreme honor and pleasure today to represent the entire Azoff company and family to welcome our Gwen to her very well-deserved place among the stars of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The street's already looking a thousand times better with her in the neighborhood. All right, thank you, Irving. Now we have some incredible guests in the audience today, including besides your Wonderful family. John Janik, Chairman and CEO of Interscope, Geffen A&M. John Janik! Walk of Famer and fellow voice judge Reba McIntyre is here. <laughs> and our final speaker today is the one and only Blake Shelton, Yay! the love of Gwen's life. Okay. Hello, everybody. I wrote some stuff down because uh, I've done a, a couple of these before where I've spoken about Gwen and I go on and on. So um, I sat down and, and wrote this down this morning. Wow. The first time that I ever met Gwen was in 2014. She wasn't like any other famous person that I had ever met before. She drove herself to work in a black minivan with car seats in it. <laughs> she didn't roll in with security. She came in with a baby and two little boys, which at the time worked like security because nobody was going near. Uh, it, was, it was chaos. Uh, it was clear to me that she was a mother first and foremost over anything else in the war world. That was her number one job. And now standing here almost 10 years later, after I first met her, I can say without question that being a mother is still the most important thing in her life. And I gotta tell you all, that is, that's rare uh, in this business. Uh, but today, it's nice to see her honored uh, for her side project, which is being one of the biggest stars in the world. In my opinion, Gwen is the perfect person to receive a star on the Walk of Fame. From music, television, and movies, to fashion and beauty, she has risen to the top over and over again with her unique style that has made the world fall in love with her. Not as much as me, though. And then there's that one thing that no one can ever explain. It's that thing that she was just born with, 
that will make you stop and go, wait, who is that? What's her name? What does she do? Why do I love her already? What the hell? That's the thing that God gives you, and without question, God gave Gwen an extra scoop of it. What makes me the happiest for Gwen, though, is that this all started with a song that she wrote. Songwriting is her favorite thing to do, and she happens to be exceptionally talented at it. it yes. If you take a look at Gwen's discography over the years, from the early days of No Doubt to her solo records, there's one common denominator on 99% of the songs, Gwen Stefani, the songwriter. Gwen has blessed a lot of people's lives with her songwriting talent in more ways than one. Now I know firsthand that it takes a lot of people to make a hit record, but none of this would have ever happened without Gwen Stefani, the songwriter. So congratulations to my all-time favorite songwriter on your star. You deserve this, and I love you. tall okay thank you so much Blake that was so sweet we're all swooning um, and I'd like to turn it over now to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce president and CEO Steve Nissen all right how's everyone doing 65 years ago, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce conceived of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and now here we are, decades later, administering the Walk of Fame. We're about to unveil star number 2,764. So let me quote from the discography, did I pronounce that correctly? Yeah. Discography yeah. Uh, that Blake Shelton referred to. Gwen Stefani, the Hollywood Walk of Fame a star on the boulevard, forever, perfectly together. Now tell me, Gwen, now wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> yes, it would. So, on behalf of the city of Los Angeles and city council member Hugo Soto Martinez, who represents this area of Hollywood for the city of Los Angeles, we present you with a resolution from the city and we declare today Gwen Stefani Day in Hollywood! It's back to you, Ellen Kay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, Steve. I'd like to now present our newest Walk of Famer, Gwen Stefani. Oh, this is for you. Oh, my gosh. What? Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my gosh. OK, first of all, what is happening right now? This is insane. I mean, that's like a powerhouse. Jimmy, Irving, Blake, and everybody here, thank you guys so much for showing up. This is ridiculous. Never, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that this girl right here from Orange County uh, would have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That just doesn't make sense to me, but um, Jimmy, what are we doing? How did you know? <laughs> um, it feels like a second ago that uh, you pulled me aside at a showcase 
I didn't know who I was. You didn't know who I was. I didn't know who you were. I didn't care who you were. <laughs> and uh, you said to me, he, he literally said to me, you are going to be a star. And I'm like, and then he said, in six years, you're going to be a star. And I said, six years? That's just weird. Like, in six years, I'm going to be pregnant with my fifth child, and I won't be doing music. But six years on the dot, Don't Speak was number one around the world. And he was right. <laughs> just to give you, you know, perspective here, the reason I have a music career is because of Jimmy Iovine. You pushed me to cross boundaries riding with people I didn't even feel like I fit in the room with. You were right every single time. Every time you put me in Jimmy Jail, it was an honor. That meant Jimmy Jail was when you thought you had your hit and you were really just one song away from winning. So thank you for doing that to me multiple times. And uh, honestly, I just want to give you a little perspective on how, how it was working with Jimmy Iovine. Basically, I had just given birth to Kingston, my first baby. He was nine weeks old. And I get a call from Jimmy saying, hey, Gwen, I think you need to go in the studio right now. You need to go right now with this rapper. And I'm like, okay, well, I just gave birth, and I don't really feel like I'm in, like, the headspace to be going in with an African rapper from Africa that came and flew here to be with me. I'm like, okay. He said, just trust me, whatever you do, just go to that session today. So I picked Kingston up. We went to the session. I walked in, there's Akon, he's sitting there, and literally, within seconds, he's my best friend, and all I have to say to him is, I want to write a song about something sweet, and uh, we finished the song, and he's like, oh, wait a minute, I, uh, wait a minute, I have one more idea, and he goes, goes in the booth, and he goes, woo-hoo, yeah and then that song took me around the world, me and Kingston around the world again on tour, and it was, it was incredible. Um, and then, you know, life went by, and out of nowhere, my life turned upside down. Just like all of us, we have those times, and I figured everything has pretty much got to be over at this point. And I get a call from Shelly Azoff. <laughs> and Shelly says, hey, you got to be on The Voice. And I say, what? And next thing I know, literally just gave birth to Apollo. And next thing I know, um, I have Irving Azoff making deals for me. I have a Vegas residency. I have a makeup line. I'm on The Voice. I'm on TV. And I just want to say, Irving, you have given me my chapter two in my life. Uh, you, your belief in me just means everything. You're a visionary. Um, You've made things possible I never thought were possible, and you've given me so much wisdom and security. I needed that so bad. I love you, and your impact on me is just makes my heart full. Thank you so much. And if I didn't have the voice, and I didn't have Irving, I wouldn't have met my best friend, my husband, Blake Shelton. I love you so much. You have given me the kind of love I never knew before. The minute I met you, I knew I was home, and I'm so, so proud that you're mine. I can't believe it. I love you so much. Growing up in Anaheim, California, I had such... Thank you! <laughs> I had such amazing family, Jill, Eric, Todd, and my incredible parents, Patty and Dennis. They taught us how to be creative and love music, love God, and... But it was my brother, Eric Stefani, who's here today, that taught me. He taught me how to write songs. He taught me how to be original. And it's because of you we had no doubt. And I will always look up to you. And of course, um, the greatest gift of all is to be a mom to Kingston Zuma and Apollo. You are my biggest blessings. I can't believe that I get to be your mom. I'm so proud of you guys. I, I, it is literally my biggest joy of my life. Thank you to John Janik, Steve Berman, the team at Interscope Records. You have been my label since the very beginning. Thank you for giving me the freedom to be creative and supporting all, all these years supporting me, letting me have big dreams and for making this whole day possible. Thank you to the Warner Brother Music um, TV Studio for your very generous support in making this day come to life. And thank you to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for this honor. Being able to write music, uh, 
I never saw that coming. The first song I wrote, it, you know, it gave me my life purpose. So thank you, God, for that. And thank you to all of the fans, you guys. Honestly, every single person that listened to my music all these years, I would not be here without you guys. It has been a beautiful exchange of love. Thank you so much, Hollywood! Thank you, Gwen. It's now time to unveil your star. Right next to him? 
One to the right, please.
to have in the center? Yeah. Everybody? Yeah, <laughs> One, two, three, right in the center, right in the center, guys. And last one here. Over here, over here. Ladies to the right. Ladies to the right. Thank you, congratulations.